Okay. Um, and how do, we've talked about some of the side effects that are common with acoustic aroma in general, but there are some side effects that um, I think people have heard of that are associated with radiation when they talk about cancer or whatever, the nausea and the hair loss and that kind of stuff. So is that something that is dealt with with this kind of radiation? Yeah, the, the nice thing about this radiation given in one fraction to only one spot is there's no hair loss. Um, there's no nausea, vomiting, like the cancer treatments, unless you're dizzy and right. that makes you nauseous, right. but there shouldn't be any direct reason. Yeah. So it's really focused. And the nice thing about this is it's like surgery. You just go to the spot that we're worried about and you don't see a lot of other issues come up. Um, the only secondary issues we see is if we put you on some steroids and that can cause some problems, mm -hmm. you know, but the actual gamma knife itself or any radio surgical platform is so focused Unless it's something directly in the field that we're treating, you really don't see a lot of these other secondary problems. Okay. Um, and some of our patients say that their acoustic neuroma has a cystic component. Mm -hmm. um, how does that work with um, radiation? Do, do you have any difference in the way that you treat? Is there any better or worse outcomes associated with that? So cysts usually represent 